Well, hello and welcome to another What If Wednesdays, episode six, where we address common scenarios and questions in real estate, empowering you to prepare for your next real estate transaction with confidence. Okay, and so can you believe we are in the second half of 2024, the month of July already? And I'll tell you, not only is the weather hot, but the real estate market is even hotter, okay? And so today we're gonna address the common scenario, questions that we often get from our buyers, and that is, what is the trade-off if I delay buying a home this year, okay? So what's the trade-off? What's the risk I'm taking if I delay in buying a new home and making a move this year, okay? So we're gonna talk about that, and I'm gonna talk about four things, four trade-offs Okay, that's important for you to understand if you're thinking about making a move, um, but you're delaying, you're procrastinating in buying a home this year. Okay, so let's talk about the first one. Okay, the first one is, the first trade-off is that more buyers, okay, will jump back into the market as rates drop. Okay, so I know we've experienced, you know, some higher rates, you know, since the uh, pandemic. You know, we're kind of past those, you know, 2.5, 3% interest rates, kind of more so you know, in the sixes and sevens or what have you. But the first trade-off is that more buyers will jump back into the market as rates drop, okay? So what does that mean? As rates drop, the cost of money is gonna be cheaper. So as, you know, when cost of money is cheaper in terms of the mortgage interest rates, you know, buyers tend to jump back into the market. What does that mean? That means more competition for homes, you know, more bidding wars on properties, and that tends to cause the property values to go up as sellers have more choices amongst more buyers, you know, putting in offers for their property. Okay, so that's one trade-off. Okay, the second trade-off is, and that kind of kind of segued right into it, is that we may have more multiple offer scenarios. Okay. So my wife and I have been in, you know, practicing real estate for, you know, combined, you know, over 35 years. And we've been in different markets where we've come from higher rate environments to lower rate environments and it's never failed we've always seen that hey the frenzy starts back up where you know uh you know more buyers are jumping back into the market and rates are going down and i know in our market here in the northern virginia dnb area you know we have low inventories okay so with those economic forces okay we tend to see more multiple offers okay so that's a trade-off that if you wait Okay, you may be in an environment where you're competing against more buyers in the market. Okay, the third trade off if you procrastinate in buying a home this year is that home prices will most likely continue to rise moderately. Okay, so again, if you delay in buying a home, okay, you may be paying more for a home, you know, three months, six months, nine months later, okay, or next year, then if you go ahead and make the move to get pre approved. And start the buying process you know this year okay so again that's a trade-off and then fourth and final one uh, that i'm going to talk about today is waiting means losing out on equity gains okay so as we all know that you know when you go from being a renter to a homeowner okay if you're renting those equity gains become yours not your landlords okay and that's a great way of building wealth by owning your own home so when you delay in purchasing a home Okay, you are foregoing the opportunity to be able to capture the appreciation in the property from year to year, okay, because that is the owner's appreciation, not the renter's appreciation, okay? So, um, so understand that these are the um, things, the trade-offs that you are going to experience you know, should you delay in buying a home this year, okay? So if you're thinking about making a move, okay, hey, you know, reach out to your um, uh, realtor professional, you know, get, you know, have a consultation, you know, in terms of, you know, your position, your affordability, you know, get pre-approved, you know, to see if you can buy this year, okay? So you don't have to experience these trade-offs, okay? And I just want to share this with you, and this is from a senior uh, macroeconomist that's in the industry, okay, recently said the housing market, like so many other markets, is almost impossible to time. Okay, the best time for prospective buyers is when they find a home that they like, that meets their family's current or foreseeable needs, and that they can afford, okay? 
So again, if you're thinking about making a move, thinking about purchasing a home, consider, you know, going forth with that process now as, as opposed to delaying and having to experience these trade-offs, okay? I'm Mike Houston with Mike and Terry for Real Estate, brokered by eXp Realty. Hey, reach out. Let's chat if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning in.